Uhu. Huh? Ah! Hey everyone, this is Jim, and welcome to episode 41 of Manufacture Your Minecraft, the Minecraft mod pack inspired by Factorio. Hope you're well, guys. Hope you've had a good little while <laughs> since the last episode. Um, good news and bad news. Good news and bad news, guys. Good news and bad news. All these ones coming out of my head there. Hmm. <laughs> uh, good news, good news. We've updated Manufactio to 1.2 of the Manufactio mod pack, and Logistics Pipes is now officially in the pack. Oh, our little tinkering last episode with Logistics Pipes, I think, convinced Golruff that it was going to be a good fit for the pack. Uh, so Logistics Pipes is now officially in the pack. Woohoo! <laughs> But that brings us to the bad news. Oh no! Bad news is we um we actually haven't unlocked it. Now we we unlocked it when we added it in ourselves, uh, but now it's officially in the pack. We we kind of haven't unlocked it. Oh. So when uh, when we added it to the pack, we linked logistics pipes unlocking to logistics three. However, now that it's officially in the pack, it's linked to Logistics 4, which is all these things that we haven't unlocked. So what we're going to do, we're going to fast track <laughs> as much as possible, if that is possible, to uh, unlock Logistics 4. Um, yeah, and, uh, this could be a bit of a process. We're, we're quite behind Logistics 4. Uh, yes, now we do have a good stash of research, though. This one might be the problem. And we do have nearly 800 of the blues, but that's all we've got. And depending on what we need to unlock, uh, that may not be enough. Now, while we're at it, we will also make sure we keep track of all these things that we unlock. So if we fast track it... Uh, oop, can I... Oh, I need to connect that somehow. Um, uh, where's the nearest thingy-me-jiggy? Uh, hmm. Uh, yes, thingamajiggy, I mean screen controller, and we're out of range of the screen controller. <laughs> so I just went and made one. Um, by fast track, I mean we're just going to unlock as much as we can, and only craft the things we need to then... Scan? Good. To then uh, be able to get to Logistics 4. So minimum effort hmm, <laughs> to unlock Logistics 4. Okay, so what do we need? What do we need? We need... Advanced Electronics. Advanced Electronics. Oh, hang on. That's Advanced Electronics 2 and 3. Which one was it? <laughs> I think it was... I think it was 3. 3! Oh, no! <laughs> so, 2. Can we unlock it? Further Advances in Electronics. Provides the Elite Control Circuit and the Fabricator for crafting advanced energy-based military technology. Ooh, okay! Ooh, it's going to use up 3. 3 blue. Oh. Too much. <laughs> Too much! There we go. Okay. Uh, yes, this is, this is going to be a lot of quests unlocking. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, I did not pick up enough red. Oh, didn't I have a ton of red? I guess not. Hmm, there we are. Okay. Now can we uh, detect submit, please? Oop, oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons again. There we go. Okay, good. Claim, claim, claim. I'm not claiming. I didn't. I didn't claim, did I? Oh, must have somehow. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, one step down. Good. And so the screen here is just to keep track of these things that we're unlocking that we're kind of perhaps glossing over a bit because we're trying to rush things. Uh, Advanced Electronics Three. Can we unlock it yet? Oh, it's got yellow. <laughs> oh, no. We don't have yellow yet. Okay, so we need yellow. Alright, I've added it down the bottom there, because that's something we're going to have to get to. <laughs> what else can we unlock um, as fast as possible? Uh, uh, capacitors 2. Where's Capacitors 2? Oh boy, it's all the way down here. Um, so we need that, and that, <laughs> and that. And that needs sulfur processing. I gather that's in the problems. Oh boy, we've got... Uh, Fast track is not going to be possible, is it? <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Um, we'll, we'll try. We'll just unlock as much as we can, but I, I, I don't think it's uh, anything fast. Fast anything is going to work, is it? Oh, oh, 
Oh, come on, really? Really? Hmm, hmm, okay, we'll try again. Detect, submit, okay, claim. Oh dear. Uh, grants knowledge of sulfur processing, providing access to further technologies. Sulfur is crafted in the chemical plant modular machine by co combining gasoline and water. Okay, sulfur, sulfur, let's add it to the list. Sulfur on list. This one, batteries, provides knowledge of batteries. Detect, submit and claim okay <laughs> another one to add to the list batteries on a list that is getting bigger and bigger capacitors capacitors provides the power provides the technology to store mv and lower power detect submit claim okay capacitors capacitors are now on the list Power cells, an advanced form of battery storing a larger amount of power. Ooh, the blue, the blue. Detect submit. Uh, more. <laughs> oh dear, the blue. That's the blue is going to be the problem, isn't it? We've got a good supply of all these other ones, but uh, the blue. Yes. Detect submit. Okay, good. Um, batteries, power cells, batteries, advanced battery. Did I? I didn't claim. I'm not clicking on the claim. Is it auto claiming or something? Sometimes. Hmm. Right. Batteries advanced, whatever they are. We'll, <laughs> we'll look into the details of all these at some point, well, soon, uh, once we smash out as much research as possible. And capacitors too? <sighs> Provides HV capacitors. Ah, we're not going to have enough red, I think. Let's do that. Back to this. Can I detect submit? Ooh, the blue. Oh, it's running out. Uh, there we go. Claim HV capacitors. Okay. Okay, added to the list. Good, good. We're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Uh, logistics for uh, titanium aluminide. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that sounds pretty good. Mm, sure enough, it's way down here, and there's all sorts of things linked to it. Uh, we can start with this one, though. Provides access to carbon fibres. Carbon fibres? Uh, they are crafted in a chem chemical laboratory and mainly used for advanced military technology. Unlocks Enderman. Uh-huh, okay. Detect, submit, and claim carbon fibres. On the list, too. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Ooh, titanium processing. Titanium ore needs to be refined in a reaction chamber. This is a 3x3x4 multi-block structure. Place a 3x3 layer of reaction chamber housing with a reaction chamber controller replacing uh, the middle block of the front of the machine. Next place two layers of reaction chamber glass. Then top the structure with a layer of reaction, reaction chamber housing. It's a lot of reaction chamber stuff, isn't it? All processing in the reaction chamber requires a reaction chamber heat tray focus. Some recipes are unstable and can consume the focus. Uh oh. To refine titanium, pump in a creep, pump in creeper acid. Set the fluid level to 30% and set the focus level to 5. Oh my goodness me, that sounds rather complicated, doesn't it? Uh, okay, detect, submit. Oh, we may not actually be able to hand this in. How much more blue have I got? Is that it? We're out of, oh, we're out of blue. We're out of blue. <laughs> detect, submit. Ooh, okay, titanium uh, processing doesn't quite make it onto the list. Hmm. Right, we this is our ultimate goal though, the titanium aluminide. So if we can't complete that, can we complete some of these other lines going into it here? So advanced machine processing, nope. Leave that. <laughs> what else have we got up here? Arc furnace. Nope. Can't do that. Yeah, we kind of reached the limits. It looks like uh, we need more blue, and we're going to need yellow, yellow science. So if we needed the yellow for the electronics uh, back up here, how much yellow did we need? 400. Okay, so what's involved in yellow? Yellow, oh, it's the next one on the, on the line there, isn't it? High-tech science packs. 
These ultimate science packs will unlock nanotechnology, allowing for mass amount of even more advanced and more importantly, smaller machines. Tip, this research requires heavy usage of basic and advanced circuits. Keep an eye on your redstone and copper. Tip, lots of crafting steps are required. Automate each part separately, then combine. Well, that's kind of what we aim for with our blue, isn't it? Tip, alternate recipe options might help. Check all options before committing yourself to a path. Uh-huh. High-tech science packs. Legendary loot bag. Ooh. Um, 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 high-tech science. All right. High-tech science pack. It needs a few things. <laughs> Yellow cake. Solid fuel. Elite control circuits and low-density structures. Yeah. Oh, duplicator. Oh, I don't think we got. We haven't got to the duplicator. Let's stick with the assembler recipes. Okay, we need a few things. Uh, solid fuel, gasoline. I think we can handle that, can't we? Maybe. <laughs> uh, there's a few things. Mm, we might have to get out the old uh, crafting calculator. I think. Of course, I have to try and remind myself how to use it. <laughs> uh, what I didn't realise, though, is that gives us three. So these things all together give us three. That's good. At least it's not one. <laughs> so that, that, that's, that's good. That'll d dictate how many of these things we're going to need to make. Mm hmm. <laughs> just, just quietly looking at the recipes and things. Get knocked off the platform and get blown up by a creeper. Hmm. Uh, yes, back to the recipes. Yeah, I've just been looking through the recipes. It It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, you know what? Let's get to work and get the first thing ready, the, sulf, uh, the, the yellow cake. Let's start with that. Uh, actually, just before we start that... Uh, there, okay. So... This, uh, this is the pipe controller, because we can't unlock it, no, we can't use it anymore, we actually haven't unlocked it. I keep dropping it whenever I select it on the hotbar there. <laughs> um, by the way, Golrith, it says there's you, you need stage XXS, so I gather this is completely disabled, but don't we need this pipe controller to actually interact with the pipes? Isn't it kind of a, a critical item, or, or is there another way to interact with the pipes without this? I think we actually need it. So I'll, I'll mention it in the Discord channel. Anyway, <laughs> and we may need this one too. It's 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 pretty useful as well. Not not critical, I think, but this one, I, the yellow one, I think we do. So if I just uh, select it there, and it drops. <laughs> okay, good. Out of my inventory, move on. Yellow cake. So there's two ways that we can go about making yellow cake. Fairly reasonably easy, I think. Uranium ore um, with sulfuric acid, or we can go through the chemical laboratory here with creeper acid. Now creeper acid is actually pretty easy if we use water, biofuel and gunpowder we can get like a bucket of creeper acid. So I think I think we'll go this chemical laboratory way. The biofuel is pretty easy. We'll just um, crush up some potatoes. You can also use raw potatoes to get that. So, uh, so let's get on with that. Harvesting the potatoes. <laughs> Doing it the old-fashioned way. Automation. Pfft. Who needs automation when we can just come up to the veggie garden, just manually pick up lots of potatoes. Ah, oh, so relaxing. So relaxing. So tedious. So boring. <laughs> and in they go. And we can also crush up poisonous potatoes. Uh, uh, don't we just put them in the crusher? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it's a Mechanica Crusher. Can we craft a Mechanica Crusher? No, we can't. All right, forget about that. Um, <laughs> biofuel, can we do it in the bio generator? Which we don't have because I haven't got one crafted. Hmm. So, oops, if we need a bio generator, if I remember rightly, I don't think I ever got this working. Uh, but that was ages and ages ago. Way back, uh, way back in the early days of the series. So what if we replace uh, this guy here? So this guy is powering just our manual machines here uh, at the base, uh, and some of the lights and things around here. So it's continuously uh, pulsing away there, as we heard. So if we replace that uh, with a biogenerator here, and uh, and see if we can at least get a bit more biofuel. Now, I do have some of it already stashed away. 
uh, but not much so and not enough so we'll get this working I think I gather where do we put the uh, the power output there maybe I think that was the problem last time wasn't it I'll see what I can come up with it's processing that's good I put in just some seeds I had tons of seeds lying around we can also use potatoes there's a few things we can use and we are getting biofuel out of it okay well that's good so at least we can get our biofuel uh, built up enough for what we need for <laughs> for getting to the logistics pipes <laughs> and yeah a little tiny bit of automation here just to keep the seeds in and the biofuel coming out <laughs> all right what's next okay what do we need uh, gunpowder next so that we can then do the creeper acid it's a few hours later by the way I had to go out for it for a while I think we're up to this weren't we gunpowder now we've got somewhere plenty of gunpowder there we may <laughs> we may in fact have lots of gunpowder so we might not bother to set anything up we did uh, at one point have a crusher making us gunpowder uh, but uh, uh, oh look at that, oh 56, 56, 56, 56, 56, oh yeah, I noticed this some other time, some point, <laughs> the different rows have uh, different inv inventories in, in the shelves here, which is interesting isn't it, huh, yeah I hadn't realised that uh, when we first built it I think, unless I did realise that, we got any more, oh look at that, we've got tons of gunpowder, Okay, gunpowder, fine. Uh, then, what else do we need? So we've got a chemical laboratory here. If we chuck that there and then put in biofuel and some gunpowder, like so. Okay, now we'll get our creeper acid coming out of there. Okay, now, the question is... How do we get it out of the tank? Toggle drained tank. Fluids are drained from output. Um, 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 <laughs> it's not draining it into the pipe there, is it? Uh, either way though, that should be we should have plenty just to get us through this little uh this little high burst high what did I call it earlier? Um not dying from poisoning and stuff. Um, um, fast track. Fast track. That's the term I'm thinking of. <laughs> While we fast track it, this should be good to get us plenty power. Power. Mm -hmm. Yoink. Power. Oh. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll move on. Yeah, so creeper acid, uranium ore, yellow cake. Okay. Uranium ore. Uh, now... I don't have any here, but I think we had some, or heaps, way, way, way over at our, uh, over at our, 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 I can't even say it, the outpost, all the way over that way. You. Yeah. Ow. Twenty-one thousand uranium ore. <laughs> that will be plenty. <gasps> Did I leave? Did I leave my 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 crate with the storage bins back at the other base? I think I did. <sighs> All right. This is the easiest way. <laughs> uh, one stack will get us three hundred um, uh, of these. No, that's not right. Oh, I can't do my maths today. But we'll I'll, I'll just get some enough for for enough. <laughs> uh, so back to the creeper acid. Can we do... Like... No, can I do... Ah, creeper... Ah. Well, that's the easiest way, isn't it? One, two, three. <laughs> and we'll need another chemical laboratory here to do the yellow cake. And our biogenerator here, um, I don't think we're getting power out of it. Because, uh, is that an insulated wire? It might be. Oh, I'll get a live wire and see if we get power out of it. Right. Snip the, uh, snip the insulated wire there. Snip. Put on the, uh, uninsulated wire. Ugh. Hmm. 
Oop, oop, oop. This rain. <laughs> Didn't we? Weren't we waking, making a rain, a rain go away or at some point? Oop, there we go. Now, do I get zapped? No. Okay, so we're not getting power out of our uh, our bio generator, but it is it is processing bio generator, bio generator. Okay, power. Where do we get the power from? Um, hmm. <laughs> It's not critical, I guess, as long as we get the, the biofuel, that's the main thing. Oh, I just hooked that up. Okay, yeah, back back to the uh, the diesel generator, or the steam generator that we're using. And this can just... Oh, rain. This can uh, just do it for the biofuel. Okay, there, there, and there. Right, okay. So this guy is getting... Yellow cake. Okay. Right. Look at that. What a mess! <laughs> but it's doing what we need. Right, what's next? Solid fuel. Solid fuel. Now, gasoline and a solid fuel that doesn't get consumed will make us more solid fuel. Uh, diesel will just get us solid fuel. And number three, lubricant will get us solid fuel. So, we've got a few options there. Uh, we would do want a chemical, chemical plant though, don't we? Where we put one of those? Okay, there's our our tanks of fuel of various sorts. <laughs> Lubricant, gasoline, and diesel are down there. This is our chemical plant for plastic. Um, chemical plant for solid fuel. Do we set up a permanent one? We're going to eventually. We're going to do all of this stuff. Uh, can't see it. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. All of this mess that we're doing, you know, we're fast tracking. We'll get set up properly, uh, but we need to fast track logistics pipes because we're going to use logistics pipes to set it up properly. Uh, but for now, oh, um, decision and that one. Yes, excellent. So I'm putting it up here next to our plastic one. So this might become a a plastic one at some point. Quite dark up here, isn't it? <laughs> but we've got a generator right there that's not being uh, utilised to its maximum at the moment, so we'll put it here. Um, right, inputs, outputs. Mm, right. Then this guy over to that guy, and then that guy up to <laughs> this guy, like so. Okay, so that should take care of the power. Yes, excellent. And uh, now we just need the fuel. So I've gone the diesel recipe for the moment. So 200 millibuckets of diesel uh, into the solid fuel. So whether this is the optimum recipe or not, recipe, it, it all depends really, doesn't it? Um, but it's temporary, really. Uh, redstone. I think we need to put a lever on it, don't we? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, we shall see if this is working. Yeah, so we could use either of them. Lubricant, I think for the gasoline recipe, though, that we need at least one solid fuel. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. So we're getting at the output solid fuel. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, two things down. One more. Two more? How many more? <laughs> Lots to go. In fact, let's just get... Oops. <clears throat> Wrong tool. <laughs> Wrong tool. My bad. Mm. Uh, oh. There. Okay. Yes, so I think if we just get a top row worth of fuel, uh, solid fuel, that should be enough for our current needs, well and truly. Elite control circuits. Two... Oh, Twenty! Oh, we need 20. Wow. That that's um that's a lot. <laughs> I think we got plenty, but we also need a lot of blue science. We'll have to hold off on that. But the gold wire Oh, that's a gold plate in a metal press or two gold ingots in a metal press. But one gold plate will get us right. Okay. Uh fortunately we have tons of gold dust which I've already smelted some up, fortunately, into the ingots, coming from our copper crushing. It's a secondary or a byproduct of our copper crushing, I think. Uh, so that should take care of at least the gold part and should get us enough gold wire. 
So we've got two metal presses here as part of our uh, crafting factory here. Given we don't quite need them to do crafting or auto crafting just yet, we might repurpose them uh, to do these gold wire thingies for us. Oh! Ow! <laughs> okay, yes, uh, I was just reversing the direction of that particular metal press there so that we can have the plates feed into the wire one. So if we get all of those in there like that, then the plate should come around here into the wire one and then we get the wire. Whoops, and <laughs> I picked it up. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, so that should give us plenty of wire then for the uh, the elite control circuits. Okay, so up here in our component factory, we do have a stash of the advanced control circuits uh, and the, yeah, these guys. So we should be able to make plenty, or plenty enough at least, of the elite control circuits to, uh, to tide us by for the, for the enough high-tech science packs. Eww, we do need the sulfuric acid though, don't we? As well as the sulfuric acid. Uh, mixer, sulfur, water, sulfuric acid, condensating. <laughs> I don't think we've got that. <gasps> mixer, the mixer. Did we unlock the mixer? Uh, in, our, in, in our unlocking quest madness before, but there is the sulfur. We do still need to do the sulfur though. What was the recipe for that? Nether quartz, lapis ore, uh, recycle, chemical plant, water, gas, sulfur. Right. Well, <laughs> I've rushed as much as I can for one episode, even though we spent like 10 minutes unlocking quests today. But that's a lot of quests, isn't it? We got through quite a bit. Uh, yes, yes, we are fast-tracking so we can get to the logistics pipes again. Oh, I thought I was there. And... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> we got ones coming out of our head again. This is how we started the episode. Oh, dear. So next episode, guys, we'll continue on with our, our messy madness to try and... Uh, to try and get to the logistics for. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.